So then, you know, you know, as you can see on the diagram right here of part 20 of this 36 plan idea that I have, it, you know, this is a part of, you know, season eight, which is meant to be the final season. You know, it's only going to be, it's only going to be eight episodes. The last episode, I'm thinking of doing a mash format where it's like a two hour long finale where it's a battle for the earth and the, and this new empire that wants this, this artifact, as you remember, as you remember, this artifact that collects uh, samples for the entire universe. And, you know, it's these six against this one dude. But this dude's really strong. But but don't worry, they have a ship and his mother's flying it. And his mother's like, hey, asshole, those are my kids. And she rams them down into Earth. So, so here's the moon. And then it goes down onto the Earth. And they crash into the home city. And that's when they do the final epic battle where it's like all 15 of the heroes and villains together against this one dude. He has five parts of the pieces where they have all one piece each, but they're just all going to go at it together. You know, giant explosion. He's going to lose his powers, be prison on the moon because the moon doesn't go anywhere. And it's tiny like him on the inside. You know, they save the Galaxy Avenger. It's revealed that he's an Ultraman. I I'm still talking to Super Eye about that, by the way about if I can actually use the title Ultraman or not. But basically, if I can't, I'm just going to have a sound effect like it. It's going to fly off. They're all going to go to university. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to zoom out and show the Earth. And that says, the end. But then it shatters. As in, like, something's banging on glass or something. But it's going to leave a question mark logo. The screen's going to go to black. And then that's where you see the release date for the final movie where everything all comes together, where the main character dies, the AI gives his life for him, and we finally get to see what this thing looks like as a whole. Now, I did the budget, I crunched the numbers, and I did a lot of food checking. It's going to be about 6 million... 6,017,221,346. I can give you $5. So I guess that's gone. Um... <laughs> uh, I guess we should cue the roll call while I take all this down. I, I sort of look like yeah. an idiot, don't I? Yeah, good idea. With, with all the diagrams of an audio podcast, you know, it's sort of... Ichi, why do you make me ramble on for three days? We are live! Mike! Zenkaigan! Connect! Loading! Broadcast! Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster? Super Ichi! Loud and Impulsive! Craycaster! Late! Illuminating the Tokuverse! Goldcaster Garza! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! On air! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, episode 346. And everyone is on point with the Pokemon of the week. It's plant so greatly. Yeah, the one that was in New yeah. Pokemon Snap. When that Gary Oak has. <laughs> the one that you can't tell which ones are his eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I always thought those were teeth. Yeah. Wait, I, I thought those were the eyes. That's what I want you to think. It's like with uh, it's like with Al Al Armaldo, whatever like that. Like his eyes are like literally like, Armaldo. His fucking head. But I never I never noticed that until yeah. like years later. All right. So if you happen to be checking us out for the first time, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are a six step plan of people who get together every week uh, to talk about Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. I mean, technically, it was eight seasons and then three movies. And um, yeah. I was gonna say at least a at least a movie. Oh, oh yeah, there's at least so, one, there's at least one movie already, in that one. God, somebody already attempted that. It was called the 2017 Power Rangers movie. Ooh. Oh, 
I mean, I know that hurts me to say that because I love that movie to death. Yeah, I was about to say, you take all the shots at that movie. Wow. I love that movie. I love it. So this week we are discussing Kamen Rider Saber episode 39, Zenkaidra episode 15, and our feature topic is uh, what apparently decide some people think counts as a full series. Oh, wait, counts as a full series? Fuck them. Uh, is the 45-minute special of Kamen Rider Zekros. We made jokes about it on episode 2 of Cast Ranger, and fucking 344 episodes later, we are finally talking about it. I mean, we had to at some point. Exactly. Yeah, we have, but, we're gonna get through everything to, eventually. But but that's not Blaze, the title. To be to be fair, you did say episode cradly before Jerry posted the picture. Yes. So technically, you still Blaze so wins. You didn't steal your bet. If anything, he All, he, although he added to, he added to your bet. Although you did misspell the name, so jury's out on if that counts or not. Power Rangers. <laughs> oh my goodness, how did he actually know the title? <laughs> no, like, Your plan leaked. <laughs> Damn it, maybe I shouldn't have hired those guys to do spy shots. <laughs> that is actually an idea that I want to do. <laughs> I want to hire people to take professional spy shots. <laughs> but, but, but here's the kicker, I want it to be fake. Yeah. Like, like what they're taking the photos of is not what's actually happening. Oh, okay. So you want to bait people? Yeah, I want to bait people with spy shots. Of wow. What's you mean like that one of the fucking purple dark cure major? Yes. <laughs> fucking hell. But anyways, that's not the title of it. The title is called "A Tenth Rider Appears." Common riders, all riders assemble. Which I mean, at this point, you might as well just call it "Common Rider Endgame." <laughs> it was. It was something. Riders assemble. Common riders. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And shit. <laughs> is that everyone? Dex, Dex. Like you wanted more? Wow. Dex gets drop kicked. No, no, that's no, that's Common Rider in the Multiverse of Madness. No, that's Common Rider into the Riderverse. Well, speaking of madness, let's get into Saber. Oh my god, Tassel's back! Yay. I Tassel, missed no, him! I missed him too, actually. I'll and the be recaps. He didn't can, say it, though. Can oh. we first talk about the fucking opening changes they made? All of the swordsmen are in the opening now! That was fucking adorable! Where is That's it? Here fantastic. it is. Fantastic. Here's shot number one. Someone else already posted the game. Oh, I don't care. I, I took time to take these screenshots. Here. Here's shot number two. Which is already a gif of. Huh? <laughs> just posted? Yes, but mine doesn't have the logo, damn it. But that one's a gif. That, actually, yours I could use as a wallpaper. Oh, you want to hear wallpapers? I don't hear wallpapers. You see them, not hear you them. You want to see a wallpaper? Now that's a wallpaper. Cool. And it's silhouetted, so I don't have to look at the actual form. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm going to defend it. I yeah. like that. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <coughs> Statistically, someone had to. I like it. I like how simplified it is. So, uh, thanks to thanks to Decker, I was able to get the face of the week because the, the Facebook group that I usually watch Saber on on my phone, they didn't upload this week's episode, so I had to watch it on my computer. Those bastards. I mean, you can just hit yeah. the fucking print screen key and post it at MS Paint. I, I just, I, eh. Uh, but anyway, so this is the right. face of the week because, honestly, ah! this was a really wholesome, heartwarming fucking moment, and I actually, like, cried a little bit. Because it all Get started you! with this. Get those having fun with his friends again! Ah! It was genuinely so heartwarming. I actually cried a little. I was like, oh my god, they're like he's happy and he's like, okay. And I'm like, yay. The fucking Kigus and the Momotaro cosplay. Wait, uh, well, he doesn't have the horns or, or a cup of coffee or deno bell. <laughs> what the hell? Wrong Momotaro. Oh, Momotaro! <laughs> I thought they were saying Momotaros. Uh huh. No. no. <laughs> that explains the um, lack of Deno but, in this episode. But, hey, hey yeah, on. So, Momo Rintaros. 
<laughs> so, but yeah, so Kento is now back as also as Common Rider Espada. So, but we didn't get to see him actually henching into Espada, which we'll probably see it next week. Yeah, because Slash yeah. said he had to uh, sharpen up the bleed. Yeah, I like that it, he he put back on his old uniform, but he still got the white emo turtleneck on under it. I guess he's still turtling enough for the turtle club. Sure. Uh, Master of Disguise. I love that movie. Um, but yeah, so like we see like Yuri healing everybody, and then just all of a sudden like they they go like they do a different shot, and then they cut back to where he was, and he's not there anymore. I guess he like spent all of his MP, so he has to return to his Pokeball. I mean, Seiken. Now, what would have yeah. been funny about that scene is if they just you like if he just walked away. But then they just heard the sword, you know, just like clang to the yeah, floor. Yeah, just like guys, I'm gonna go for a walk. Oh, okay, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri, right? <laughs> I, I saw Yuri. the Yuri. I have a suspicion that the actor became unavailable for the rest of that episode of shooting, and that's why they did that. Oh, sorry, it's only a maximum capacity of like seven people in the room. <laughs> now that Kento's here, I, someone I has think... to leave. I think that was the same with Tassel's actor as well, because, like, he was just like, yeah, it took a bit longer than normal to get myself back together, and I was like... You had to go do yeah, a more important show. Yeah, but, yeah, just seeing fucking... Like, it's just so cute seeing Daishinji, like, looking at freaking the, the Holy Blade. Oh, and fix him! Just, like, well, the, the first one of him, like, looking at the Holy Blade, he's just like, I want to examine that. We, and I was we, like... We don't have nearly enough shots of like giggly manic Dai Shinji outside of his uniform or his he suit. Likes, he likes swords. I want to see him in like full Bremen rock band mode outside of his suit. You know what? I want to see him dress up as the Joker. <laughs> with that crazy you know. with that crazy smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know we are going to get a fucking Buster and Slash V Cinema fucking You mean the you mean the Kenshi resident? Sure, it's in the spot of E Cinema. We'll get a fucking Kenzon movie. I don't know. Kenzon disaster. Yeah. Yes. Where, um, yep, and then probably and probably like a, a twenty thirty minute special of uh, Duranda and Sabo. I'm still waiting for Kenzon to fucking do something. All we got from him this episode was, oh, I'm trying to figure out what I should aspire to. Okay, I'm sorry, kid. Quit fucking your bitching. Yeah. The world's coming to an end because that asshole, name's Isaac, by the way, wants to destroy us all, but you're over here and don't think you're strong enough? Dude, when you gonna realize all of us together can kick his ass? So, Sorry. if you're done, grow a pair, take your head out of your ass, and come home. Right? It's like, oh no, Toma got stronger again. You know why? Because he's doing things. You're just out here fucking about. Sitting around eating fucking ramen with disaster. Someone you should be stabbing. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I sort of want disaster to be dubbed over by Seth Rogen. Because <laughs> I don't know why. No. I, I just see Seth no. Rogen's voice no. working. I don't think so. Uh, honestly, if I could see someone dubbing disaster in English, it'd probably be like Derek Stephen Prince or something. Eh, maybe. It's just Elgar's voice coming out of it. Yeah, I can kind of see it. You know, I can really show you how to use that blade. Oh, yes, I know how to do it. I don't know why I made Elgar a pirate just work with it. I was thinking something closer uh, to Demi Devimon. I, I like that, um, I like that, like, they still need Ren to, like, complete their the rest of their party or whatever like that so then kent is just like i'll go talk to him he loves me the rest of their party <laughs> and he's just like he's just like he's just like kento i still think you're cool and everything but fuck off yeah i don't know um so uh reika and ryoga infiltrate southern base to steal back the some of the other ride books that Isaac still had and a book gate into Southern base and hand it over to uh, Toma and co. And then we get the fucking funniest moment in the entire episode. I'm not here to team up with you. I'm here to repay a debt. 
just drops to the fucking well, floor. John. Yeah, because fucking they, they fought Solomon and Solomon literally fucking stabbed. Durandal got fucking Dur stabbered. Yep. This <laughs> But, just the oh, fucking like alright everyone's safe now you can die for all I care <laughs> now, now you can all die for all I care exactly you're really getting some mileage out of breaking my broom break. I say like I like I liked their ploy where they like had like a fake Sabala like fighting Solomon and I don't then, think like, that was real I don't think that was a fake I, I think that was just tr not translated super well the idea was oh, okay. she she was like using her smoke powers to like zoom around and distract him, and then while Duranda was fighting him, Sabala smoked off and grabbed the books. Ah, uh, okay, because the subtitles I read there, he was like, "Oh, nice illusion." Yeah, like, and the hmm. subtitles we were watching also had S's in organization. Oh, it's supposed yeah. to be Z, not S. Yes, yes, correct. But now I'm just thinking, cloud is smoking, she appears, Master <laughs> of the sword. I, but uh, my other concern is like, I, I like how they're hanging out with Ryoka, Ryoka and Reika this whole this whole time. But nobody, not one person, has like confronted her about all the shady shit she's done before now. Holy shit! Did you just call him Ryoka anymore? Ryoka and Reika. Oh my goodness! I thought his name was Onisama. <laughs> like, oh, it's Onisama! Onisama! Like, holy shit, Reika! I get it. He's your big brother. Fucking call him by his name so he at least feels like a goddamn character. That no, uh, she, she that's even, actually fairly she even, common in Japanese. She if you even watch called him ir irresistible, and I was like, oh, okay, but, that's but a bit just much. Like, we're bordering on complex here. We're, we're, we're boarding. We're borderlining on uh, Avengers Ultima over here. I'm broke Listen, on. Listen, if if I want incest, I'll just watch Game of Thrones. Thank you. What? I don't know why you would want that, but all right. I don't want it, but I'm just saying that's <laughs> the most show I can think of that has a lot of incest in it is fucking Game of Thrones. Also, the entire internet. Have you heard of the internet? <laughs> <laughs> that Vegas in the chat making a Scott Pilgrim reference. Guess who's drunk? Drundle? I guess Drundle. <laughs> guess right. I love that he says Drundle. <laughs> Uh, I can just see it too. He opens up the door and he's just, guess who's drunk? And Thomas there is just like, I guess Durandal. I guess right. He whips the book at him and just, just collapses. Yeah. Because in, in the movie, you know, um, oh fuck, what's his name? Wallace. Uh, Wallace tosses his keys at Scott and just face plants onto the bed. Yep. I will say I did like the 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 Thor ass kicking fucking saber gave uh, Solomon. That was oh he, he got shit kicked. That was awesome. Well, uh, can we ass fucking kick? You you guys talked about the shitty CGI with Falchion and such. I'm gonna talk about this for a bit. Um, what kind of scaling is this? Yeah, it's the room is getting a little weird to look at. Is this a TARDIS or some sort of magic here where? Why does Solomon and freaking Storius look so goddamn tiny? It's because they're far away. That's why they're yelling. It's just, persp it's, just, it's just angle perspective or whatever. It's shitty angle perspective. But yeah, so Toma and Rintaro show up, and Toma does the fucking protagonist thing of attempting to proffer peace and ask why he's doing this. And I love that Isaac just goes like, Oh, I had some loved ones that were killed, and I'm out for revenge. Psych! I was bored as fuck! <laughs> cool. That's a shitty excuse. That's a no, shitty excuse, no. though, for it, like why you want to destroy the world. Oh, I'm bored. It's not. It shitty. is. It's 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 bland as hell. That we are yeah. living. We are living in an age where villains have been getting more and more complex and sympathetic, and and their motivations have been interesting. And then Saber, a show that I've put so much love and 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 trust into and faith into. This is the villain you give me. I didn't like having to defend the world and I was bored, so I want to blow up the world and then make it again so it's less boring. Guys, no joke. Bro! Sign on to the fucking internet if you're bored! Jesus Christ! Guys, no joke. I wrote a page and a half on how to fix this. I'm morbidly curious. Alright. <laughs> fix number one. Older actor. I know I said this last week. 
I can't agree more. No, no, I think Kusoma, which I, I looked up his name, and also turned out... Heisuke. Yeah, and I also noticed he hasn't done anything since she can her. <laughs> he, he did, it shows. He did one drama in like 2014, and then that's it. Yeah. Oof. It says She Ken Gold is his only main big credit. Oof. But yeah, just, and he's only 34. He's meant to be this old, like, older guy, but just, I'm sorry, you're 34, you're acting childish. I can't take you seriously. Yeah. So, you know, you're probably thinking, well, if you didn't like him, who would you get? Challenge accepted, bitch. <laughs> Number one, which I only have two actors here, uh, Ryo Kinamoto. Uh, you know, he was Captain Hibiki in Ultraman Dyna. Ooh. You know, because I think, I think it would be cool. He's shown that he's a good actor. And you know what? Here's a photo reference for him, which I, I did have a photo of him. There he is. Uh, here's a photo reference of him. You know, he, he's, he's turning 70 this year, so he's probably a bit too old for this. Yeah, and I, you know, I think he would be better too because Isaac in this episode talked about how because he's like the 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 guardian of the, of the piece of the the book, he has a longer lifespan. So I think it would be interesting if he were played by an older actor. Yeah, just to show that like. So I I, I saw that picture of him just now, and I was like, wait a minute, that's all he looks like. I'm like, oh wait, that's from 1998. That's that's. <laughs> Yeah, like, you have to remember, Dino was like 25 years ago now. Almost. They paid me this many. They paid me a five thing. They paid me a five <laughs> digit pay. Five fingers. Yes. But, you know, I'm also thinking, you know what? This is common Rider. You know, why don't we get a Rider actor back? Someone who isn't as old as Mr. K uh, Kinamoto. You know, he's a good actor, but again, he's turning 70. He probably doesn't want to do this shit forever. So, you know, um,. So it hit me. I'm like, we need someone who's just old enough to be, so that there's at least a good two decade age gap between the main cast and him. Someone that we know is a good asshole. <laughs> someone that definitely deserves it and for the hardcore Common Rider fans. And then it hit me. Agito was 20 years ago. So why not get Tetsuo's actor back? That'd be cool. Oh. Or, or, you know, and besides, you know, it's not like he hasn't already been in a kit bash suit before. Yeah. Oh my god, that's such a cool design, though. Also, he's 48. You know, two, it, two decade age gap. It makes him older. You know what? You know what we haven't really addressed about Isaac as a character? If, if him becoming Master Logos was something that was passed down through his family, how the fuck did anyone let him have the job? Like, did, did his father not see what a batshit crazy psycho he is? No, but that's the thing, Ichi, is he, he at one point in his life, being Master Logos, was okay and happy with protecting the world. He just eventually got bored of it. But, but that... Mm, I don't know. So, at the start, he wanted to do this. He wa His sole purpose, he wanted to protect the world. But that leads into my big other thing. Fix number two. Show, don't tell. Mm -hmm. He, like, I noticed Logos always mentions how he want how the world has gotten stale. It gotten boring. So he thinks if I recreate the world in my own image, it will be better. Doesn't really work. As a, for, as a narrative. For him, entertaining and interesting to him seems to stem from just humans in conflict. He oh, He's entertained by conflict and war and all that. And I'm like, my dude, play fucking Battlefield. But that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what if you have it be the opposite? Think of it. You have all this power, but your organization's secret to the unknown world. War, pollution, freaking just you know rate like um purges and shit you know, you know there's a lot of evil in this world but you can't do anything about it because secret organization mm -hmm. have him snap and be like you know what the world you know like i've seen this world go from hell and back and you guys are still screwing it over so now i'm gonna recreate it there is so that i can't 
so that none of this will happen. There is kind of a slight version of that. He does, in passing, mention like, "Oh, the foolishness of humanity," but I feel like that's like an under, like an afterthought. It's not nearly as focused on as it should be because if that were, if they would focus more on that, like you said, it would kind of make sense. Like, oh, humans are so foolish; they keep waging war and destroying the planet. Someone needs to take charge and fix this shit. So I'm gonna crush the egg, the earth, the planet like an omelet and, and fix it. And you want to know the sad part, bro? I, I still like my idea from last week where it's just like you should have, they should have introduced him early in this show and like pulled an Eisen from Bleach with them. Just make him like the super nice guy, very trusting, everyone loves him and then he just betrays them halfway through the fucking show and it's or, so impactful. another version that they could have done is if he used to be good and then eventually grew bored and, and resentful, let us see that happen. Have it happen during the show. That way we see the complete arc of the betrayal and it's much more felt. You know what I mean? Yeah. No Master Logos existed until like what, like 15, 20 episodes in? Have us, like, oh yeah, have, Master Logos, he runs the organization. It's like Let us witness his descent into madness. Or, you know, a great example of showcasing the whole show don't tell thing, ironically enough, from the other show this guy wrote. You know, Ghost. Yeah. In the blue, like, you know, the Blu ray special with Alan. You know, first episode of Alan. What does he talk about? World's gone to shit. Yeah. And there's actual images of, like, like black and white images, but still images to showcase his point of just 100 years go by and shit's still happening. Yep. Yeah. Fucking Adele. I'll just make everyone me, and then everyone will be happy. Hey. BBC called. They want their shitty master storyline back. <laughs> yeah, that, that was better portrayed in Doctor Who. <laughs> but just, but then that leads into the big in number three of how to fix him. Don't make him the villain. As this, as this, as the big quote is, the villain is the hero of their own story. Yeah. This guy is coming off as cartoonish villain, and yeah, I get common writer child like kid show. Plus, it's like, ooh, books, fantasy world, traditional med medieval fantasy narrative, yeah. big cartoony abstract villain. But, like, guys, Thanos was three years ago. Everyone called him crazy and insane, but when you actually look at his idea on paper, okay, yeah, I can get by this, except for that last part of you wanting to wipe out half the universe. But it's the only way for it to get done. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. But it's the only way. It makes him flawed. Yeah. Like you want to like... you want to agree with him, but he's flawed in that one perspective. And that's where I think this could have went. Yeah. Master Logos is fed up with how the world keeps shit in the bed. With with the wars, the you know, fighting against each other, and how nothing's really getting done. His family's been protecting the world for the last two thousand years, and look how shitty the earth has gotten for it. You know what? It's time to hit the reset button with only the strongest to survive and only who I deem worthy. That's his flaw. The flaw is <laughs> no 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 the flaw like his idea of resetting the world is great. His flaw though is that he believes everyone needs to go except for a handful of people. Yeah. That should be his flaw. Where the rest of them they, they because that's a perfect example of how the other writers are coming together to stop this problem, where he thinks he's the only one that can stop this. Mm -hmm. It's the whole yin and yang. As long as everyone's okay, I'm the only one that can make this okay. Yeah. Final Fantasy XIV has a very similar thing with its villains, too. When you learn what they're up to and why they're doing it, it all makes sense. It's just their methods that are the problem. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's what, and, like, I have a feeling the way that this episode ended with how Kento believes that, oh, we may be going into an ending where Storius ends up becoming the true villain. Yeah, I, I, I still feel like he's going to pull a gremlin and just stab Logos and take shit. It, and you know yeah. what else? One thing that kind of supports this? So, you know that new shot at, in the opening where the riders are all standing on the cliff looking up at the big evil? You think that's Storius? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, they didn't show Solomon. It's no. some big mysterious glowing purple evil. Also which means it's also... someone we which means it's someone else. 
So also to point out the fact that freaking Solomon got his ass kicked and Story is said to be the one to fucking get him out of there. Yeah, Story is just smokes him away. It was kind of funny because like when Story is like po poofs in, he looks like he just like ran in and like tripped over something and then he just poofs back out. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, Story is just all like, oh poor baby, did the writer beat your ass again? Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of the writers you beating our ass. Uh, we got to see hmm. Kamen Rider Crimson Saber this time, which is uh, Cross Saber, but with the all three Rekka books. Yeah, this makes me actually realize we're never going to see Braid Dragon again, are we? Very no. possible, unless no, the this show... Is the, this is Brave Dragon. Yeah. I don't know. It, it can go either way, I think. Because we never see him with the regular sword, so like, is that it? We're just never going to see Brave Dragon again? I don't know. I still think the show will pull the whole kill the villain in the base form in the last episode thing. Oh. Uh, like, they'll probably weaken him down to the point where it's like, I don't even need to use my final form on you base form. Or maybe it's a thing where, like, their power gets sealed away bit by bit until all he's got left is base form. Or, yeah, yeah, like, or his power's gonna be drained or something. Because it's like, oh, if you defeat me, all of the Wonder Ride books will go away in order to close the seal that will save the planet and also you. So you have to give up your powers to save the world. All right. Oh, speaking of the world, Luna's back in Wonder World. Yeah, and Tassel's running around looking for her. Hello, little girl. Don't be afraid, little girl. He's just running through the forest going, Bon lecture! Oh, no. oh. Bon lecture! That's the title of the horror movie, Bon Lecture. And it's just, <laughs> it's him in the Bigfoot pose, but it's dark, but you still see the green and pink highlights. <laughs> now, now that's a horror movie right there. Beware the clown oh, yeah. that lives out in the woods. Yeah. Um, I like that we got to hear rewrite the story again. That song is fucking rad, and I can't wait to get the proper version of it. Oh, yeah. But, but, yeah, what, what do you guys think of the three ideas that I have? For I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, no, it's great. I I definitely agree he should be an older actor, but like, I just I think he should have been introduced from the very beginning and just been very nice and trusting, and then especially he stabs if, them in the back. Especially if he's the leader of the organization we've been following the entire fucking show. Yeah. Up until he showed up, we thought Sophia was in charge. Yeah, like they should have been like a thing where like Toma's like, oh, so Sophia, you're like the leader, and she's like, oh no 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 no, I'll introduce you to our leader, and then we master Locos. He's like, hey, we, how's it going? We have on? a guild master. Can I meet him? No. No. To jump, jump. <laughs> um. Oh, also, Story has pulled out fucking Charybdis again. So. Was... Yeah, and he he's like evolved. So he's, he's smarter not, like, now. Just... Yeah, he's actually like. Be words. I'm smarter than and, the average Megiddo. And then uh, Blade shoved a giant ice pop down his fucking chest mouth and used his Leo Blizzard casket on him. All right, yeah, everyone. holy fuck, did he, yeah. he overkilled him. Yeah. <laughs> cool off. That was pretty cold. Cold burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love that scene at the end where Rintaro just milks Ryoga's thank you. Who was that? Uh, we got fuck it. <laughs> uh, we get fuck. And also in the ending, we got to see all four of them together again: Kento, Rintaro, Toma, and Mei. Hooray! Together again. Gee, it's good to be together again. Oh, and again. Kento, Kento got a pin as well. Yeah, they, got, they, they finally got to give him the friendship pin. Yeah, yeah. It only took a talk with his dead dad to tell him to stop being a bitch. Yeah, yep. the, the, the little the little birdie. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye bird. Um, so next week we're gonna deal more with Luna being captured and we're gonna get to see Comrader featuring Saber, which is the only actual new form. The one that uses Yay. Brave Dragon, Lion Senki, and Lampto Alangina. So sorry. Yeah, but I, I... just J J uh, our friend in the, if you're listening to the audio version, in the Discord that we have in the YouTube version, our friend, our friend Jerry put a gif of Tassel running through the woods, and I'm just thinking, hey look, he ran off to set up Teletubbies. <laughs> Time for Teletubbies. Time for, yeah, yeah, you just have that in the background playing, it's just the scared face. 
Time for Teletubbies. Oh yeah, also, that's the uh, that's a thing that people are having a big problem with from this episode. When they debuted Crimson Saber, they didn't even play the full fucking chime, even though it's different from Cross Saber's chime. I guess we didn't have enough runtime because we had to milk that Arigato. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yep. Um, so yeah, cool. Interesting episode. Show's still mostly good, except for... <laughs> Can we go back? Oh no, she's gone from good to mostly good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Please don't pull me back in! Uh, I think the main writer just needs to come back. He needs to pull his head out of his ass and into a book. No, he needs to stop writing his Ghost Saber fanfic to come back to write the rest of Which the Which is story. hilarious because we're actually having a fucking Ghost Saber fanfic with those side specials. Exactly. He's writing those, but not the actual episodes of Saber. Yeah. Think of that. He's writing a fanfic of his own shows over this. Jesus Christ. That's this sad. Is for writer ever again, please. Yeah. I fuck this guy. All right, take us in. Zenkai. Just Zenkai. All right, I'll admit the monster of the week this time was kind of cool. This episode was so fun. I, I loved it. So much, so much joy, so much innocence. Retro world. The, Retro the, world. I, I only have the, a broken face. At <laughs> that was kind of sad. Best. No, the best thing in this entire episode was just when Sops tries to fucking head shit and he doesn't realize his change is different. Oh, that was the best. Well, apparently, so that... silence and Zorin's just like, so you is he gonna notice? I'm like, there's no he... music. He does the whole no fucking sequence, including the dance, doesn't notice there's no fucking music playing. But he's so going yo ho ho. Yeah. Which means uh, he's just that full of himself that he doesn't give a shit to what's actually happening. Also, apparently yeah. that prop was made just for this episode. Makes sense. Why else would it okay. exist? There's also another thing I need to mention because this just this just baffled me so much. So there's a scene where like they're they're like they're going like everything's all retro and stuff like that. And so then they like they run into these these dancers. Oh, happy cunning monkey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what so, the fuck was that song? A Jackie Chan song. Is it actually? That is Jackie Chan. Oh my god. So I, I looked up the lyrics for, for this song. It's an actual song. So I'm just gonna read like a little bit of it because it's it, it's good stuff. So Oh yeah, that I'm was a, I'll, we'll talk about that after. I'm a cunning monkey, yeah. Happy cunning monkey. Ia ki ka 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 ka. Cunning monkey. I'm gonna get my kicks. Gonna use every trick. You'll never see them written in the books. You won't even know just where to look. I'm a cunning monkey, yeah. Happy cunning monkey. Sounds you like a stay away. Better leave than have to pay. Trying to match your witty wits with mine. You know I'm really only being kind. I'm a cunning monkey, yeah. This sounds like something that would have been in fucking Owendan. Keep in mind, this is a Chinese song translated into a Japanese lyrics. Still sung by so, Jackie Chan. So, I, I heard this, and I'm just sitting there being like... Tap. I just wanted to see Otoya dancing in that group. And you want to know the funniest thing? You look this song up on YouTube, like, Cunning Monkey, Japanese song. First thing that pops up, there it is. You click on it, there's already 10 comments saying Zenkaidra led me here. Of course. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty wacky song. I wish I wish Emily was here, because I know she'd be just as Oh, we gotta ask her about that. We gotta ask her about that next week. But now I just have... Absolutely. But now I just have to wonder. Wait. Hawaii has the rights to a Jackie Chan song? Mm hmm But yeah... To I like to think also that the TV shows that we saw on the TV were probably like Toei owned ser shows as well. Oh, yeah, they probably own a lot. Or a TBS or something public. MBS? I yeah. Think, I think it's a, or TV Osaki, that's what they're on. That's their channel. So, yeah, the idea is that Retro World turns everything on the, like everything that he hits back into retros, which means they're spending the entire episode in the fucking Edo set. <laughs> Which I, I like how it's like there's no cert like there's no actual decade. It's just according to the according to the even all of the Zenkaijus are dressed for different eras. Oh yeah, where's that photo? There it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Decker's always like one upping you. I, I don't care. They, they look like they're ready to do the fucking. It's the Zen Kaiser Variety Hour. Woo! <laughs> but like, okay, I gotta say, I love how Zox took a backseat of this episode. Yeah, fuck him. It's just, and I just love how they're just like. You know why? Because he's too busy. <laughs> Decker posted this earlier. I want to talk about this. The it was so fucking funny. His ship turned into a fucking boat. And then dropped out of the sky and exploded. There's a boat in the sky. How did Flint and the children survive? <laughs> they found a the way. But, but I just, uh, like, I love that, though. How they're like, we got, like, hey, we got to find Retro World. But Yacht, like, y- Yachan's her name? Her name's Yatsude, but they call her Yachan, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Yachan. Like, the grandmother. Um, And she's like, oh, you guys look all spiffy. It's cute. And they're all like. Well, like, let's enjoy ourselves a bit. It was here. hilarious how, like, everyone who's, like, all the normal citizens just went, looked around and went, fuck it. Hey, it's better than the entire city being covered in ice. Yeah. Or mushrooms, or people wanting to fight each other. You know what? <laughs> I can live with this. All right, this one's cool. Let's ride this one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's ride this one out. Everyone's into this. <laughs> yeah, and, and then eventually, like, Retro World's like, oh, you guys are being too fucking happy about being, like, nostalgic, so I'm just going to put you into, like, a, a Great Depression. <laughs> and by Great Depression, he turns the aspect yep. ratio into 4 by 3 And turns the color sepia. And I love how the fan servers did this. They changed the yellow, the white subtitles to like Hong Kong bootleg subtitles. Yeah, that was yellow. so good. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a good inside joke. But yeah, who brought out Retro World? Barashitara? No, it wasn't me. Doctor? It wasn't Rude. me. Then who was it? The fucking bird. It was me. Gig it. Yeah. This is a good bird. Nice bird. Smart birdie. Smart bird. <laughs> so yeah, everyone gets put into this like self-reflective super nostalgia mode where like, oh, remember the good old days? Cut to flashbacks of each of the four Kikainoids. Wait, no, our lives sucked! Yeah. Fuck that! Yeah, I love that. <laughs> you, see, you, you see Juan getting like beat up by a bunch of mooks in a fucking alley. Yeah, and you know, like Gowan, he, he's like self-conscious about himself, Matt. Majine, she's also being self-conscious. Vroom, the janitor, getting beaten up by Kudex. And they're just like, wait a minute. That wasn't fun at all. <laughs> Those weren't the good times. Those weren't the good old days. And they literally jump out, of, jump off the ground and bang the aspect ratio back to its 1080p. Yep. Yeah, you see the black bars go flying. <laughs> That's so, so good. good. And yeah, when Retro gets damaged, you see his face change, and I actually felt kind of bad because it was like, oh, no! so it looks broken like, face. I just love it. He's like, I don't like this. Rewind time. He casts. He's a time mage. He casts undo and undoes the damage. And then, of course, as expected, they pull out the time ranger gear to redo the damage. Go over time and space. Yep. It's it was great. Oh, and, and then, like, like, no, I just love the best no. part. Mm. But I just, I'm sorry, Lynn, but just That's according okay. to the notes, like production notes, why do you guys use Time Ranger? Because they're the only future Sentai. We could have used any other, but no, no, we gotta go with the future Sentai. Yeah. And apparently, Juran also referenced the theme song a bit. I don't know, I didn't hear it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Live Night, waiting for the oh. Decker gift. Yep. Also, when we see, like, the, the bigger version of Retro World or whatever like that, he uses an Ultraman fucking beam. Oh, yeah, it's not Retro like, World. No, it's not. Even I picked up on that. Yeah. Like, I've, seen, I've seen enough Ultraman to fucking recognize that beam. Yeah. I love that he's got a fucking clock, like an analog clock sword, and a fucking record player shield. The time-modified sword. Yeah. And the Natsukashi... <laughs> Fucking hand pose for doing the beam attack. So like you motherfucker. Gee, why does that look familiar, <laughs> Lane? I love yeah. that. I love that the name of the monster, like Die Retro World Shield, it was the Natsuka Shield. Oh, the nostalgia shield. Yeah, because Natsuka so, is the word for nostalgic or like a long time. So, 
So then this man, this this monster's plan is to he changes the, their their dialogue so that they can only communicate with like retro speak, which is just and so they can't communicate with each other. And then just one of them thinks, guys, just fucking attack! It doesn't it doesn't yeah. like, stop you attacking. So and then they just attack from anyways. It's just an like, excuse wow. for them to make a shit ton of references that ninety percent of won't be understood by their primary demographic. I understood this reference. <laughs> When they got shot by the Zetsian beam. Okay. You know. What 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 did the subtitle say? She. Wait a minute. You mean she from Otsumatsu. Oh. Classic anime. Or or as some people may know it as. Godzilla Dance. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there was a ton of references in that whole bit. And then uh. And yeah. then as they do, as he does the slash, they're just like, etch a sketch! When, when oh, yeah. Kayo does the slash. <laughs> etch a sketch! I caught that Bye one. Way. Yeah. And then when the monster dies, he's like, bye, Inara! <laughs> wow. Sorry to Inari. Wow. Also, also Stacy was just depressed because he's like, man, nothing got in my way. <laughs> oh, Yeah. So at one point he see Stacy's like walking around and he sees Yachen and for half a second I went I went through like three different theories. I'm like, A, it looked first like he was falling in love with her, but then we realize he sees his mother in her somehow. And I'm like, maybe that lends credence to the idea that Kaito's mom is his mom. But she addressed in this episode it's Kaito's dad's her son. Yeah, so I don't know if that holds any water. Maybe it's just like he sees motherly instincts in her, and that just reminds him of his mother, even yeah. though they're completely unrelated. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. That's what I was thinking of, like some sort of like comfort of like him thinking of his mother. Yeah, I, I loved how Shen Chun was taking care of the little boy. Yeah, the little boy Rio, who had just moved. What, what you ex- like what, 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 what do you expect if you moved out of Ayaka City? <laughs> no, no joke, Lane. He is uh, he was Isami's younger counterpart in Rube. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like I'm like, oh, 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 all right, oh. See, see, God, this is why like I love you being on the show because you just fucking find everything. Who's also the freaking just the phone, the phone, oh the phone. Oh yeah, the Republic phone. A pink oh, phone. Yeah. Sen Chen <laughs> fucking called them on a public phone. <laughs> I I, I would great. love to be on set of like just blocky hand with tiny phone, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello? <laughs> it's just like he tries to run with the phone. Oh. How do I put it on speaker mode? Oh forget the guy with the cell phone at the beginning of the show. And then it turns into a rotary phone. <laughs> Hello? That was good. What? Yeah, just three wheeled cars. <laughs> I, that is the thing. I know they're a thing, but just yeah, they're, they're still a thing. So yeah, ne- so next week's episode is about magnetism and something about Stacy calling himself Satoshi. You know what? I'm I'm very surprised that in the the the, the Sentai series about robots, we we're just getting to a fucking episode about magnetism, right? Oh, so Man. no, I'm sorry. That's one thing I want to bring up. One last thing about the about uh, Zenkaiger. I loved how the Kikainoids were the focus of this episode. Agreed. You know, yeah. last, last episode it was all about Kaito and Zox fighting Stacy. This episode, no, they're gonna deal. We're gonna go deal with the monster Kaito. You, you figure stuff out, man. <laughs> you, 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 you find yourself. And, and there's just some cute moments during the fight, like you know, freaking best one is like Rune's fighting the Mooks. He somehow ends up with one of their staff oh, yeah, weapons. Yeah, they swap weapons. Oh, give it back! No, no, no. I get the little one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ten out of ten, best episode. Yeah, you know what? I'll agree. This was my favorite episode so far. I really loved it. I love how they just went with it. Yep. Of just, it's retro, we're going with it. Even the little boy storyline was heartwarming. Yeah. Spe- yeah. Especially with Kaito. Just, it, it brought a warm smile to Kaito's heart, being like, my grandma's happy right now. Yeah. 
unhappy. All right, let's get into the feature topic. Oh boy. Feature topic. All right, tell us what we're talking about, Gar. Uh, we're gonna talk about how the photo doesn't include all ten riders. I, I just used what you gave me. You, you could just. I, then they'd be squished. <laughs> all right. The I got I got nine out of ten. I'm impressed. I got that far. The year is 1981. Super One was doing good until it wasn't. <laughs> they decided to change broadcast stations, and then the show's range just plummeted. Like a rider kick upon a monster of the week. Pretty much. So, Ichi, I'm just going to say this now. I'm looking at your notes. That wasn't Yamagata Yukio singing the theme. It was fucking Akira Kushida. Akira Kushida. I, I changed it already. You're looking um, at it. I you haven't refreshed. Yes, apparently not. Yeah. So, anyways, I noticed and I changed it. Their their voices are similar. So do me. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, Comrade Super One just came to an end. It did all right, but not all right enough to get another season right afterwards. Instead, this led into the production of a certain. Space themed cop show that we will get to next year for its 40th anniversary. Oh boy. Of course, we're doing the Space Show trilogy next year. Uh huh. Hell yeah. Uh, but in October of 1981, like a month after Super One, there was a fan event called Common Rider Easter. Don't question it. Wait, what? Yeah, a fan event, according to the translation. Common Rider Easter. Uh, it wasn't even Easter. I was going to say, didn't you just say October? Yes. Oh, all I, right. I don't know why. Just, maybe that was a mistranslation. It, maybe, I'm not sure. But basically, this led to, like, Shop Shotaro Ishimori was there. And, of course, right on the spot was like, oh, yeah, there's going to be another rider. There'll what? Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course there will be one. I'm, I'm Shotaro Ishimori. I got nothing else. <laughs> I think I'm working on a Sentai over there. Oh, fuck that. Uh, so when's this happening? Well, we're we're currently working on a show right now. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we're totally working on a show. They so, were not. So they they wrote up a show. They wrote up a concept, a proposal. Yeah, guys, we're not doing another writer show. <laughs> what, it, guys? Is we're not doing it. We need something fresh. It's 1982 for God's sakes. <laughs> Wait, oh, 82 sorry, but... or 81? 81, 82, like around there. Okay. Uh, okay, so what do we do then? I don't know. Put it in a child magazine, make it a manga or something. And which, so, so they did in August of, 1980, of 1982, we got Common Rider Z Cross. Oh, okay. Wow. As a manga. It actually looks kind of cool in that, in that aesthetic. Yeah. In which it. So I'm looking for a charge cable while I speak. Here is one. Uh, basically, they had an idea. It ran for two years. Uh, there was supposed to be a contest at the at the uh, at this amusement park where if you guess the name right, you get money. But the problem is, his name's Zed Cross in ZX. Mm -hmm. But the you know the Katakana, there is no ZX. So it was spelled like Zeta Cross. Yeah, Z E Cross. Yeah. Uh, in which, you know, it ran from 1982 to 1983. So there was an audio drama which also had the opening theme song, Dragon Road by. Oh, Ushida. let me. That song? Bar none. Best show a writer theme song. Absolute fucking banger. Endless fight? Yeah. So fucking good. I think endless I'm, fight. Isn't the name of it Dragon endless Road? Fight. Yeah, yeah, Dragon Road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so in so good in late. I want. I'm guessing late 1983, after the popularity of the manga came to an end, they decided to make a special that focused all around Common Rider Z Cross. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it only aired once on television. It's a glorified recap special. It was almost like something made to promote the next show. But then there was no new show. Yeah. Yeah, no, and, like, the most interesting thing is, like, 
other than like showing up when the other show writers showed up, this guy has had nothing else. Yeah. Or as far as I know. Well, we'll get into that. Okay. Uh, so yes, the birth of ten. All common writers together, yeah, yeah, assemble a Q Avengers music. It, it's uh, a glorified clip show for half of it. But think, oh. of, think of it this way. It's 1984. Common writers now 14, 15 years old, the franchise, the brand. Only thing that's actually airing is probably a few reruns here and there. Kids nowadays, so they don't know what the hell a common writer is. Their big brother or sister may know who a common writer is. Or you lived in Ultraman household, where it was nothing but Ultraman, or get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> uh, but basically, I sort of liked how this sort of led to a, let's just recap all the show eras. Could mean, hell, we grew up with fans, like, us around here, we got into the franchise with fan subs, and for the longest time, Zed Cross was the only Showa era thing that was subtitled in English. So... To be fair, it's a plus on that side. I what really made me laugh regarding the whole recapping of the other the other writers is it really puts a fine underline on the on like how similar they are. Ichigo, a guy who was captured and modified by Shocker. Nigo, modified by Shocker. V three, modified. Rider Man yeah. modified X modified. They're all they're all modified to be cyborgs by evil or f- to fight evil. Stronger, he did it on purpose to fight evil. This one did it by himself. <laughs> this one did it, but shinier. This one was in America, and this one went wee 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 all the way home on his bike. <laughs> Wait, you guys have bikes? Yeah, man, we're common riders. <laughs> My favorite bit is the is like when they're confronting the monsters at the end, and they all like introduce themselves, and they and then they all just stand there in a row, and then and then Zekros comes driving out from the side, like guys, wait for me. Sorry, I'm late. I slept in. Sorry, I had to rewind the Betamax. I don't know what that song was at like the final battle, but I liked it because I, I like I heard I, I I heard it was in English. So yeah, there was a song that was playing, and I think it was it, they made a big deal out of the number eight. So I think it was like from a couple of shows ago. Yeah, it was probably from the Sky Rider movie. Yeah, and then you hear these fucking lyrics, and it's like the strongest in the world, the mightiest in the universe, and other English lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And also, and yeah, they they summon like a shit ton of monsters, and literally half of them are mantises. <laughs> There's Mantis Roid and Mantis Zoid and Mantis Floyd. Okay, yeah, no, Kelly Kelly's brother was watching like a bit with me at like the end, and he's like, and he's like looking at all the con writers, and he's just like, why are they all bugs? And I'm like, because that's what they're been based off of. And he's because like, they're oh, the mightiest yeah. heroes. That's like asking why are all the mighty more from Power Rangers dinosaurs. <laughs> Because Jurassic Park. <laughs> also, so I think like Heisei really Godzilla. Good. I know. I think Heisei Godzilla. I don't know. He was popular yeah. in the early nineties. I think. I don't know. And then there's that one bit earlier where they they're sitting ZX down in some hotel room or whatever and showing him fucking VHSs of all the riders. Nah, nah. This was 1984. <laughs> That's Betamax. And they're like, "Look, this is Ichigo. He henshins with his belt." Uh, fucking yeah, they all do. This is Nigo. He transforms with his belt. There's V3, who's me, of course. Yeah. Uh, I tra- that one's me! <laughs> yeah, right. How did we record this? Uh-huh. Where did this footage come from? I don't know. Tachi Bonnet probably recorded Also, <laughs> let's... I love how they show V3 and he's there, and the, the footage they decide to show is the one shot where he's, like, stupidly avoiding a flamethrower. Good times. That's real... That, that, that's real impressive footage. Yeah. But, yeah, so... so I guess... Je- <clears throat> You go, Lane. Judging, judging from like the 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 the, the special we watched, apparently, I, I guess they only got three <laughs> actors to come back to reprise the roles. Four, actually. Oh, okay. So yeah, so let's talk about the returning riders in this. Uh, we'll quickly go over the quickest one of them all, uh, which I have to go back over to my phone uh, because I have my notes here. Sorry, just my phone's charging. Everyone, I'm terribly sorry. That's why I'm sort of shouting. Uh, no. Shout factory. I wish. <laughs> I would make a better Tokusatsu show than Swall Dicks. Ooh. Sorry, not sorry. 
<laughs> Anyways, yes. Okay, uh, to quickly go over the first one, we have Takashi Sasaki back as Hayato Ichimonji, aka Kamen Rider Nigo. He only showed up to reprise the voice role because this was the 1980s, where 60% of his body was scarred from a fire. Ow. Yeah, six, a lot of graphing surgery. Yeah. I guess he, I guess he I actually got modified. <laughs> He has made that joke. Oh, okay. He cool. himself made that joke of... <laughs> Guys, look, I'm a common writer! I have been modified. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, as we just mentioned him, Hiroshi uh, Miyauchi, who played Shiro, aka Common Rider V3, yeah. which we saw him a shit ton last year. Yeah. Uh, this was actually his last time... This was the last time he portrayed V3 until 2011, where in that 40th anniversary Common Rider movie... Okay. He only did a few. He did like one or two lines as V three in that. Uh, but yeah, this is the last time we ever see V three in his human form or human wow. civilization C form. Civilian form. Yeah, civilian form. <laughs> it's human form. You're, 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 you're human. Your side <laughs> works. Human. <laughs> uh, we have. You could have been a giant grasshopper. We have a. Uh, Takahisa Yamaguchi, who played Yoji Yuki, aka Rider Man. Oh, Joji Yuki. Yeah, Joji Yuki. This is unfortunately his last time being Rider Man. Until, until Gax took it over. Actually, in 1986, he died of liver cancer. Oh. Four, oh. four days after Saint, four days after finding out he had liver cancer. Yikes. Yes. Worst part is, Ouch. he was only 41. That sucks. Aww. Uh. And lastly, we have, of course, Kazuya Oki, Kamen Rider Super 1. Sort of makes sense. He's the last rider that was recently released. He was still around. He was still around before totally he st stole money and hid from the big kid yeah, from society. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. I, I'm 100% um, sure he's not coming back. And people are saying that they can't hear me, even though I am, like, shouting. It, it's because of the way the mic is. Uh, um... <laughs> My my favorite part, honestly, of this whole special though, was just fucking like we get we get like the the villain like the Badon Empire or some shit. Oh, you and mean so the, get, you like, mean this... Ambassador Hell shiny version? Yeah, we get like this Ambassador Hell with. Yeah, this guy, I I couldn't help it, but there's like this one scene where he's just standing there and like he's around all these other people and like this like this general guy like a tiger in his human form and he looks really cool he's like got like a military uniform he's got well, yeah he's a nazi sunglasses on yeah but, like just seeing him like this guy just stand here and he's like saying so much serious shit and he, I, I couldn't help but just i kept giggling every time he showed up on screen because he just looked so stupid so silly his face like... his face <laughs> has all the energy of the grandfather of some dude on the staff who managed to co coerce their grandfather to get in the suit and and say the lines or else he wouldn't give him his medication yeah that that suit definitely looked looked very uncomfortable to wear. he looked like he was under duress anytime the camera focused on his face oh, ambassador darkness there yeah the, the brother of ambassador hell that looked painful it's like a he did not want to be there it's like michael Keaton's ba batman the best part though was because like kelly's brother was still watching with me until like the end so like like we see him, we see him get like defeated by Zed Cross or whatever like that. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, Kurt, watch this. He's gonna fall over and explode. And he did exactly that. And like, he he looks over. And he's like, how the fuck did you know that? And I'm like, I've watched so, for, like over it's fourteen show years. Rider. I know how this shit works. He even, <laughs> even went Banzai! Banzai! Banzai, Daniel San. Banzai! I love the shot where the fucking truck falls down the cliff and exploded. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I sort of wish it was like 21 Jump Street. What happened? I, I, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to explode. <laughs> there was supposed the to be an earth shattering like, kaboom. The best was like Zed Cross, like he meets the other three riders or whatever like that. Like he fights them because he thinks they're like trying to take the fucking... Badium uh, 84. He thinks they're kaijin. I mean, they're no. supposed to be. 
So, but like the like the villains complaining like, oh man, how are our trucks found? I'm like, well, maybe if you don't have your monsters fucking driving them in their monster forms, maybe they'd like be less conspicuous, but, you know? But Lane, that's their uniform that they have to wear to work. Otherwise, they don't get paid. They get deducted for not wearing their uniform. I mean, my assumption was that they had they hid in human form when they were driving the truck. Well, like, they, they go back to, like, this, their place or something like that, and so then they just, they're like, oh, here, we'll show you the other nine riders on fucking TV, and he shows the fucking footage the whole time. Yep. Oh. I love the fucking mooks who look like their faces are made of balloons, and they make weird honking noises while they wield their guns. It's okay, we got, we got, we got mooks in science lab coats? Science mooks! <laughs> No, science mooks are always great to see in show. I love it. Like, when the professors ran away, they replaced them with mooks in lab coats. <laughs> I, I, I just love just, How do you make them look evil? Just put, put them in lab coats. It makes them ten times more evil. I can't Trust me, it, it works. It, their faces look like they just have inflated balloons taped across them. Also, like, one of the mooks decided to, like, report to the, the bad guy. And so, like, he, he says what he's supposed to say. Like, he's like, he's like, oh, general. And then he just goes... Yeah, the fucking honking noises. Um, also, we saw some, like, I, I, I get it's, like, 1980-whatever, like, it was at the time, but, like, Amazon's helmet looked fucking awful. Well, yeah, they had to pull it out of the trash. Actually, actually <laughs> a lot of, at this time, a lot of Comrade, like, productions were just amusement park, like, variety shows. <laughs> so... Yeah, we had to work with what we got. We're not... Th this is the equivalent to Ultra Fight. We're not putting any money into this unless we have to. Oh, it was very clear they weren't putting money into it because Zekros's henchin, you know, the feature moment of the special, was fucking awful. I, I, I loved how nowadays if you show this to a kid, they'd be like, Hey, eh, they're dabbing. Yeah. That's... That's what I said the first time dabbing started happening. And I'm like, oh, you think that's new? Riders were doing that shit since 71. Woo! So that when, like, he does, like, his proper henshini, like, after he's just, like, doing flips in the air going, <laughs> I love how the audio just kept going in and out for that. Yeah. So it was like, yes. Zah! Zah! Cry. Yeah! <laughs> that's all we got. Yeah, that's all we got. Oh. Uh, and so, Zekros himself is supposed to be a ninja because he fights with shit like a cross shuriken and a, and a kunai with chains! And a bomb that he pulls off the front of his shoe? What the fuck is that? Well, so that's where I left it. That just raises more questions! <laughs> but yeah, they all oh, get man. together to defeat the, 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 the cannon. And, and, and the... The writer who's supposed to be rife with the abuse sickness isn't even the one who saves the hostages. Super One goes and does that. Aha, uh -huh, still me, bitch. And and then they do some shit, and it's just like, now you are all trapped in the dimension of sparks, where the same footage of repeating sparks will loop over you, even even in place while the camera angle changes. Don't pay attention to it. Hey, who's the giant floating head in the tube with the robot? Uh, don't, don't look over there. That's a, that's America. <laughs> well, I'm from America. Kazuki, no. Going over here. And then the riders combine their energy and perform their ultimate move. Sailor planet attack. I mean, rider syndrome. Woo! <laughs> oh, this group hug, everyone. Group hug, big Big group hug. The power of love! Okay, so that's why Amazon looked really terrible. So, like, that's his that's his original suit. Uh-huh. And then this is, like, how he's portrayed, like, nowadays. He uh -huh. just has less stripes on him now. <laughs> so they, just, they fixed know. him because they, they, they're, like, well, less stripes. Well, no, they simplified him. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Also, you also have to remember, this is Toei, it's not Super Rider, where they make 12 suits of one rider. So yeah, they get two. They kill, they kill the thing, and then uh, Shao Kahn shows up. Oh. The big fucking skull in the sky. You fools, I've come for your souls! I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah! 
Conan Rider! I want King Dark back, man. I miss King Dark. <laughs> well, King Dark was in the clip in the clip segment when they were mentioning all the other organizations. Yeah, you know, yeah. I want to be the best, like all they were. Shocker, Gel Shocker, <laughs> Destron. Yeah, I wrote the, I wrote them all down. It was Shocker, Gel Shocker, Destron, God, Gadon, Garanda, Black Satin, Delza, Neo Shocker, Dogma, and Jin Dogma. I prefer Jin Dogma. <laughs> And this, and then they're like, "You are now the tenth common rider, common rider Jugo." All right. How about I just call myself Zed Cross? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Zed Cross. I'm just call myself Zed Cross and make it easier for everyone. Okay. But uh, I, I would love to see just an extended cut of this of all of them, just because it just cuts to like the nine riders up on the hill, all waving the sunset, and then they just leave. Goodbye. But just Bye. I want to see the extended cut where. As they all walk away, they're all just like, "You want to get dinner?" So who, who's riding with who? Because <laughs> I mean, they bike, have their own bikes. Like my bike's at the shop. Oh. You know, Tachiba wanted to check the oil or something. I don't know. Hi 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 or Hi uh, Release the rider cut. <laughs> Yo, uh, Hongo, so can I get a ride they, with you? Apparently, they made an SIC Z cross. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Yeah, it's all right. That's neat. I like his belt. So yeah, Zed Cross for a while was just well, if you think of it this way, he is the first movie exclusive rider. Yes. If you want to consider this a movie in if, air quotes. If the Saber movie counts as a movie, this counts. No, that's called a theatrical special. <laughs> it's a special that aired theatrically. They have powers that are new. He's the he's the new guy. <laughs> he's the new guy that immediately gets shafted because three years later we get the best show writer ever, Common Rider Black. It's Common Rider New Powers. <laughs> so Man, I wonder I wonder what it would it would have been like if we actually got riders like three more riders before Common Rider Black. Uh it probably would have been eh. eh. Oh oh, I'll tell you this. It would involve the dude getting captured. And being modified into a cyborg. That. <laughs> and we also wouldn't have gotten 2014's Comrade Tyson Heisei vs. Showa. Uh-huh. Because, yes, you know, 20, 30, 30 years later, yes, I was right, 30 years later, uh, Toei decided to continue the storyline of Ban Ban, or Banda. Empire in the ba Badan. Yeah, Badan Empire in the Kamen Rider Tyson movie. Uh -huh. Which also featured the return of Kamen Rider Zed Cross. Uh -huh. That's pretty I, much it. That's, I mean, I could take or leave that movie. I, I actually really like that Enjoyed movie. It. It's a good crossover movie. It's a good just I don't care about continuity. All you guys it's just a, beat the it's shit out of Zed this. crossover. Isn't that the one that rewrote the canon of Fives and Kaiza? That's that's Gaim's continuity of Fives. Mm. You, you have to think about it six dimensionally. <laughs> that's that is Takumi, but it's, it's Takumi, Takumi in the Gaim world. In the Gaim world. Oh. That's how, that's how I see all these crossovers now, because of Zeo with this whole multiverse theory. Oh, great. I've gone Zekros-eyed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, there was a... There was another manga of a... of a Kamen Rider Zekros. It was pretty popular and such. It's, uh, it's considered one of the best Kamen Rider mangas of all time. I, I... Spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kamen Rider Spirits. Yeah. Considered one of the best mangas featuring the Showa era common riders. It delves more into depth with Zed Cross. Shiny depth? Yes, yeah, more shiny depth. That's not what I said, but all right. Well, I heard I heard shiny depth. You said depth instead of depth, and I I responded with Johnny Depth. Okay, that's what I heard the first time, okay. but then I decided to respond back with shiny depth. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we figure that out. Look at Zed Lake? Cross standing there, all red and silver, in the Ultraman pose. Yeah. All right, cool. I guess we should talk about Rider Man's debut at some point. We'll get to it eventually. We'll get to everything yeah. eventually. Anyways, this, the special was oh, not great. I, I like how you were about to say okay and then retracted that. 
Yeah, so you'd say it wasn't great. It, it it exists. That's the best thing I can say. I feel like if I feel like if I invested more of my time into Shohei or Ryder, I probably would enjoy it slightly more. But like, the only I'm reason more, to watch it is to check it off the list. Yeah, I've been I've been I've always been more of a hey say person. I will be always a hey say person. So. You don't hey say. Yeah. Hey, Lane, it could be worse. You could be one of those people that don't go back and watch anything past 2010. Yep, that's true. I don't understand that, people. You could at least watch all of Heisei Kamen Rider. You know, you know, yeah, like the, we did. The only reason I didn't do it with Showa is because, again, for the longest time, Showa wasn't fully subbed. But now it is. So I can go back and watch all of it. In yep. chronological order, because that's a thing Showa writers have. A little thing called continuity. Cool. Oh, I wish you luck with that. Anyway, that has been Cast Ranger. What? Jikai! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! First. It's about time for us to get to real time. Yeah, we're kicking off the summer with, you know... You know, you know, big summer blockbuster movie. How about we talk about the Kamen Rider Zero One movie? It was good. I've already watched it. That, that sounds good. Yes, real time, not real X time or real cross time. Yeah, it's just real time. It, it's Hunter Hunter logic. Yeah, it's Hunter Hunter logic. There's a, you, you don't pronounce the X. Yeah. Nope. All right. So that has been Cast Ranger. Thank you all once again for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing. Uh, also, in kind of news, it's my birthday on Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. Should we go do something? Yeah. We'll figure it out. Um, we'll go start a raid. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. As always, the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find all of our shit, including our Facebook page, where I post thumbnails, our Twitter account, our Patreon, where you can pledge to help us make the show better, our Discord server, where you can chat with everyone in here and uh, listen to the show when we record. We're Live Friday evenings. Uh, our merch store where you can buy shirts, office supplies, and shit with our emblems on them. Uh, and I think that's it. I may have missed one or two, but we're good. Stay Sentai Retro style with the Conan Monkey. <laughs> stay Showa. Stay Showa. <laughs> that is Stay Showa Sentai. Cool. The SS Show. No, the SSS. Showa Super Sentai. The Super Stay Showa Sentai. <laughs> so back to my back to my no point. <laughs>